Welcome to News Now from the Belmont Journal. I'm your host, Mike Crowley, and we are joined once again by Lisa Gibellario of the Wayside Youth and Family Support Network and coordinator of the Belmont Wellness Coalition. So welcome, Lisa. Thank you, Mike. So this week we're talking about domestic violence, and I'll just point out real real quickly that October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Lisa, let me ask you first, how often does domestic violence happen in Belmont? Well, Mike, in order to get an answer to that question, I reached out to our police chief, Chief McIsaac, and he informed me that they do receive a fair number of calls related to domestic violence. So it does indeed occur here in Belmont. All right. So, you know, let me let me ask you too, Lisa, if, if you suspect, if anyone suspects that a neighbor or a friend or even a child is a victim of violence, uh, what's, what's the recommended approach? Um, so there are a couple of different avenues that one can take if they do suspect that a neighbor or friend is, is a victim of violence. Um, first of all, in a non-crisis moment, it's advised to go ahead and reach out to the person that you are concerned about. Um, check in with them gently. Ask them if you can be of help. Um, find a time that's not chaotic, a, you know, a time that you can actually perhaps listen to their story, listen to what's happening with them, um, you, you know, validate what you're hearing. And, and what we mean by that is to just, you know, say that you're sorry that blank is happening, that whatever they have told you, um, you know, ask them if they're open to, you know, hearing some support possibilities from you. For example, you can encourage them to contact the Belmont Police Department, the non-emergency line 4841212, and they can get put in touch with a police officer who can then offer um, support to them um, around domestic violence. And if they don't feel comfortable reaching out you know, to our own local police department as a first step, they can certainly contact the National Domestic Violence Hotline. And I think we have that number available. Um, and that is a place, Mike, where you can speak completely confidentially to someone about what's happening to you and they will direct you to more resources. So I would say that offering those two pieces of um, advice or, or ways to get support are a good way to start. And if you, if you do not feel comfortable reaching out or you don't know them well enough, um, you can also confidentially contact the Belmont Police Department and say, hey, look, there's a situation on my street. I don't know the people that well. I'm hearing blank or I'm seeing blank. And I'm just wondering if you can check in on this family. And so that is an option as well. So Lisa, it does sound as though reaching out for for assistance, whether that be with the police or the National Domestic Abuse Hotline um, um, or, or some other supportive service is fundamental to getting help and, and support? Absolutely, Mike. I was um, heartened to learn from my conversation with Chief McIsaac that our department are well-trained in domestic violence. In fact, we have a sergeant on the department who has gone above and beyond and has real specialized training in how to offer support in these cases. So absolutely, contacting the national hotline or contacting our own um, police department to get to bring in supports. And of course, if something is happening in the moment, if you're hearing something that sounds dangerous, just call 911. Um, that is a time when you don't call the non-emergency line. You would just call 911. So that's so helpful. That's so helpful, Lisa. Um, anything else to add? Um, just that, you know, it, it is a problem everywhere and here in Belmont. And, um, it, you know, Chief McIsaac had said that it's something, again, it's a priority of the police department. And um, they are committed to supporting families in any way that they can. And, of course, we know that domestic violence not only impacts, you know, the people who are, you know, dealing with it, but it impacts families for generations. So it is something that we really do want to offer support to, um, you know, so that we can interfere and, and have a positive impact. Um, as you said, this is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and as such, um, Wayside has two events this month. So I think we're going to see a little information on that, um, a vigil this week and an event next week. 
Well, thank you so much, Lisa. This is such an important topic. And if 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 someone needs help um, calling the police um, or um, another resource, as you pointed out, um, is a good first step. We've been talking with Lisa Gibellario about domestic violence. I'm Mike Crowley, and we'll see you next time.